we're back for another one. I'm your Whiskey King. This is my Royal Jester. Oh! Yo! Today we got a special one, boys. In the bourbon community, everybody's heard of Pappy Van Winkle. Pappy Van Winkle is a family. That family has hired particular distilleries over the years to make their whiskey and they oversee it and they create the mash bill and it gets the best spots in the Rick House, blah, 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 and it's a great bourbon. However, what we're gonna do today is give you a comparison of another weeded bourbon from Heaven Hill Distillery, which is one of the last family-owned distilleries in Kentucky. It's called the Old Fitzgerald 15. So it's the battle of the 15-year weeded bourbons from Kentucky. This one, even at second-hand market, is a lot cheaper. Pappy's is great, but I do think the Old Fitz might be a little bit better. So the Old Fitz is a bottle and bond. For those of you who don't know what bottle and bond means, it's a strict government regulation that came out to prevent people from getting sick because so many people were fucking with the whiskey back then. So the government was like, we need to come up with restrictions to call it a Kentucky straight bourbon, and Bottle and Bond takes it the next step further. It has to be aged in the government-approved warehouse, certain amount of years, at 100 proof. Is it 15 year, 75% corn, 20% wheat, 5% malted barley. It's a really beautiful crystal decanter. Beautiful job. Now, the Pappy's is classic. I love the logos of all the Pappies. Mr. Van Winkle smoking his cigar. Everybody knows about it. Everyone's heard of it. And someone who doesn't have a good palate might drink it. Their first sip would be like, Oh my God, it's the best I've ever had. There's other bottles that are probably better. This is good if you could get it at MSRP, but it's not like the, the make all be all of bourbon in the world, like you would come to expect with the hype and the sought after demand of this particular bottle. Okay, we're gonna start with the Paps first and then move on to the old fits. Right off the nose, it smells very similar to the William Leroux Weller from the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. Caramel, oak, vanilla, and a little fruit. I've had the whole entire Pappy lineup, the 15 and the 20 are my favorite. It's a toss up between which one. Um, I like the 15 a lot, and that's why we're doing this one today. If this wasn't in a Pappy bottle, I would equate it to a value of about $60. Sorry, Paps, because it's smoother. It has good flavor. It's not very complex. Um, the antique collection George T. Stegg shits on it. And uh, the finish isn't that long. It's not bad, but it's just not great. And it really saddens me that there's people paying thousands of dollars for this and they have no idea what they're doing. What do you think? There's so much better stuff out there yeah. that's worth it more for your bang for your buck. I agree. Than this. Yeah. It's hyped up to the max. It's too much. It's it's really smooth. Beautiful. It's good. It's 15 years. But the money is just It's a nice classic bourbon. It's easy to sip, but you got to find it for a right price. Sometimes people do a raffle and can find it for that. I think it's a supply and demand issue. Buffalo Trace knows it and they're milking the fuck out of it. So when I was at Buffalo Trace, I complained to them, hey, you guys make good stuff, but like you're over amping the fuck out of it. And it pisses me off because you make amazing bottles. And when you go there for the tasting and the tour, you can't even taste that. They give you vodka, which is terrible. That's horrible. Get the hell out of here. They gave you the standard Buffalo Trace, their bourbon cream, and an Eagle Rare 10. And they make so much other stuff huh. that is absolutely stunners, but they don't let you taste it, even if you have the money and you want to try it. So this is a prime example of a bottle that does not have as much hype. That's 15-year weeded bourbon. Could be similar mash bill, but we don't know for sure because Pappy's doesn't disclose it. And I have a feeling that it's going to be a lot better. Uh, all right. Instantly, the nose smells a little bit more complex. Fuck. I could usually spot a bottle that's better just from smelling it. I was at Heaven Hills, and they laid up six different pours, unlabeled. I had no idea what they were. And I picked out the best from the worst in that specific order. Just from smelling, I didn't even taste it. 
And the guy's like, yo, you know your shit. I'm like, yeah, I'm the fucking king. Yeah. I'm the whiskey king. I know my Bow shit. Um, instant caramel, vanilla, oak, and it's a little bit more pronounced and, um, and more balanced. And I could equally pin them out where with the pappy, it was kind of a little bit more mixed together. And it's not any ethanol. It's uh, the paps was a little stronger, but it's close. The 100 proof is good. Um, so the legs are nice, the color is beautiful. This has a lot of oakiness as well. And it's really sweet, maybe like a maple. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Take that maple uh, on the tongue, fucking will burn mm. and finish it. Dude, mm. it's not even close. Mm. Hands down, winner. The finish is so long, so amazing. Mouth tingling, fucking incredible. Ah, oh. you're gonna see this for probably 150 to 400. If you're lucky, you'll see the Paps for 200, but you won't. You'll probably see it for a thousand or more. You buy that, you're an asshole. You buy this, you're not an asshole. Oh. Oh. Uh. It's night, not even close. It's not even close, right? It's night and day different. Night and day better. And they're the same fucking year. Same age, both weeded bourbons, both from Kentucky. It's like twice as good. Yo, right? old Fitzgerald took a dump on him. I would punch him in the nuts for buying it. Yeah. I don't know what freaking witchcraft they're doing there, but the finish is just out of this world. For a $150 bottle, this is a beautiful Kentucky bourbon, and that's why we did this, to give you a proper comparison. Both 15 years, both from Kentucky, both weeded bourbons. All right, boys, I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time, and always yeah. give you wise advice to don't be a fuck Listen up. Listen to your king. Hail to the king.